Uh, good evening, it's Jeff and Wilma here at Budrum, and this evening I'm going to show you how to get, how to harvest Hakanoko. So Hakanoko is also known as bee larvae uh, pupae, and uh, this is in uh, unwanted, uh, this is unwanted bee larvae for uh, my purposes. So we're in the middle of a real uh, heavy swarming season at the present and uh, just flat out trying to stop my own bees from swarming so uh, we got a phone call today I was out working my bees today and Wilma, rang, Wilma told me that somebody rang up with a bee swarm uh, again so uh, so I, I found that it's best to stop my own from swarming uh, rather than go out chasing swarms I could have doubled my hives if I, if I wanted to in the last month so what I'm doing is cutting out the bee out the whole uh, comb and just putting the empty frame in the place in between other frames and then let the bees build it up again. So you can harvest the uh, bee larvae pupae uh, which is about 40% in the larvae it's about 40% amino acid um, and then as it matures it turns into protein so uh, and then the, the other 60 percent is made up of a list of vitamins and enzymes as long as your arm so it's very nutritious so i've been thinking about this and uh, this is how i'm going to attack it so i've got some water in my saucepan here probably about one and a half liters and i'm just going to uh, cut the comb out so uh, I'm just going to put my honeycomb with the larvae in the water and uh, I'm not even going to bring the water to the boil just all I want to do is melt the wax uh, it's all separating here oh so I guess you knew that the pupae would separate like that from yeah alright so now that everything's melted and uh, it's all liquid and what I'm going to do is, uh, I hope it's not too hot, is pour it through a strainer so that everything, look at that, there's more larvae that the strainer can hold. So I'll just use that, do that one for the time being. Now what I've got now is I've got uh, another there's still a bit of wax in there so what my strategy now is I've got a kettle here that's been boiling and I'll just bring it back to the boil right now the strategy now is to pour boiling water through all that just to uh, rinse any uh, wax off the um, pupae and larvae now I wondered, I, I wondered how I'd go um, with the cocoons and I was thinking well it's only the first generation so it's only a very fine cocoon and so I believe that uh, the rest of nature likes the uh, cocoons um, so I think in a fritter I think it should be all right. So we're going to try that tonight. And I'll put the rest, we'll make some fritters and we'll put the rest in the fridge. And if it works out all right, we'll make some fritters and make another video. <laughs> right, so here's our finished uh, article here, our Hakanoko fritters. And it smells beautiful. Yeah, everything out of our garden in there. I always like Hakanoko. It's got a really nice flavour about it. Mmm. Yeah. It's just got to get your head around the, the thought of it. The thought. Well, I reckon if people can eat brains, sheep's brains, they could probably eat hakanoko. I'd rather eat hakanoko than sheep's yeah. brains. 